extremely uh, interesting edition of Graham's Gallery because joining us right now on my left, Flying Fred Curry, and on my right, Dr. Jerry Graham. We want to bring something very important to your attention. History will be made on this program today because just a bit later on, for the first time ever, we will be televising a match between these two men, Flying Fred Curry and Dr. Jerry Graham. But Fred Curry, I know the situation between you and the doctor did not start here today. It started many, many years ago. Well, we wrestle all over the country. And this, this man here never would accept a television match. And I can tell you why. Because he didn't want to be embarrassed. He knows that his television career would be over. The thing what I say about Jerry Graham is one thing. You know, he talks about uh, how intelligent he is and how great he is and everything. That's all talk. I graduated University of Connecticut, but I don't spout it off like he does. I'm, I'm this and I'm that. When he gets in the ring and he gets on television and he gets in the ring with me, he's going to have one thing to contend with, defeat. Graham, can you spell defeat? I don't think you can. Just let me talk, will you? Uh, one thing about... Wait a minute. First of all, Curry... Your definition of defeat is what you put in your shoes. Yeah. You're going to find a defeat means getting beat. And there's a, if I only had one college degree from some insignificant university like Connecticut, I'd be ashamed to tell anybody about it. Where'd You're you graduate? Degrees, right off, Grand Canyon College, University of Southern California, Duke, Purdue, Yale, Harvard, Princeton. I've been to all of them. And I have a degree in music appreciation from the Boston Conservatory. But we're here to talk about today. Today, Curry, on this program, you and I are going to have it out right now. Eight years ago, I rubbed your ugly face into that canvas. And the only reason we've never wrestled on television before is because you haven't had the guts this to man. sign a match with Dr. Graham. And today, that's in, this the WWE has flake. forced you to wrestle. I'm not a flake. This I'm not crazy. Flake. Doctor, let me ask you one quick question. Is it true you've been avoiding a match on hit with him on television? I'm not avoiding anything. Why did I sign the contract? I'll wrestle Fred Curry. You know, I hate this guy's guts. I can't tell you all the things he's done to me over the years. They're always cheap backstabbing. He's real good with the brass knuckles. He's real good with the blackjack. And even then, he's never been able to beat me. And you're going to see today, I'm going to bust his ugly pumpkin open. Yeah. I'm going to rub his face in the canvas. I'm going to pin him for a man, three count. Maybe for a five a count. Maybe for a ten count. This man is a complete flake. You know, he talks and he spouts off everything. But once he gets into the ring, he hide, he'll hide behind the great Wojo. He'll be hide behind Bulldog Don Ken. Everybody does your work for you. When you get on the ring with me, you better, you better be prepared because you're going to take the beating of your life. Now, if I ever take a beating, it's not going to be for some insignificant punk like you. That's right, Curry. Punk! Because I'm not nuts, I'm educated, I'm intelligent, and I'm a great wrestler, and I'm the only man in the history of wrestling that's won over a thousand consecutive victories. But you know something? I've never been a big talker. You're a big mouth, and I don't like people with big mouths. Today, on this broadcast, I'm going to show you who's a talker and who's a doer, because I am a doer. Do you understand me, Curry? Way he talks, way he talks. I shouldn't even show up for the match. I think he won all his matches on the mic. You know, this guy is completely, again, he's a complete flake, and I'm going to prove it to you when, you, when you're, your crumbs will be all over the floor. Listen, Curry, you talk, you brag, you do whatever you think you have to do, but when that bell rings, there's going to be nobody there to save you, nobody there to help you, nobody. You understand? Nobody. It's going to be you, it's going to be me. That's why, even though I'm a part of the Tag Team Championship, I wanted this match to be a single, because I want to settle it between you. You need help. I don't need help. I don't you need, need help, help for anything. Fireworks, a lot of help. guaranteed. In the middle of that ring, you'll see it later on this program. These two men collide head-on in center ring. 